Okay, in this video, we're going to cover how to go about setting up your former model correctly. So I'm going to start. I'm going to. You can start a new project, but I've got a project ready going. Greek Market Square. So I'm going to explain how I achieved these outcomes. So I've got a completed model currently. So. I just want to show you the completed model. So I'm going to show you how to achieve this outcome with that information I've given you via the link. Okay, so basically I'm going to delete this proposal and I'm going to start, I'm going to start everything from scratch in essence. So I'm going to delete the terrain. So you can delete the terrain. Uh, terrain delete. Okay, let's delete site. Let's edit that. Let's get rid of the roads. Good. So basically when you started a project, let's delete this as well. Oh, you can't. Okay, so you're going to start with the basic proposal. Call that existing. Okay, I'm just going to delete everything. Done. Okay, by default, you'll notice it'll start off with the flat terrain or no terrain. So basically what you need to do is you'll need to go to the library and you're going to have to go and import a whole lot of information. So I'm going to delete all of this information here very quickly. This is just how you can delete information. Then I'm going to show you how to use this information correctly. Okay, so basically delete that. And we're going to build a whole new scratch from, from start. Delete. Delete. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go to import. Okay, let's just first go to order. So what am I, I'm going to get, the first thing I'm going to get is just the road information. So I'm going to get the information, I'm going to say order. Okay, it will know the site extents. Remember, you'll need to set up your site extents, but if you watch that first video that I've given you, you should all be able to set up your site extents. Okay, so that's great. So you, I'm going to use that information for now. Great. So that information I can put in the roads. But now I'm going to start importing some information. So I've given you some information. I'm going to show you, I've got a folder that we're going to work from. It's called Former. It's a Former folder. Now you can simply start dragging information. So the first thing I'm going to drag will be a site model. So let's pull this information in and it will give you a preview of what it looks like. Okay. So the site model will, will in essence become my topography. You give it a couple more seconds. Great, so that's coming correctly. The only thing that you need to do is you need to orientate this correctly. I save this on a little notepad which I use and I'll give it to you the whole time. But in essence, you need to find this coordinate system. So you're going to scroll right down to 35, 34 south. Okay, we're going to do this quite a few times. So if I go back, good. And now we need to put in that value there. Okay, so let's just go sticky notes again. Let me just find that little sticky note. Good. So I'm going to copy my X and Y. Control C. Control V. Control C. Control V. Okay. You leave it all just like that. And you go save and close. And you notice it puts it over the site correctly. I'm going to go save and close. Okay, now that's a site object. Now you can go and change its name, but I want to convert this terrain. So what I'll do is it will convert this to the terrain in my model and it will change this flat terrain to be a, a terrain that has a slope. Okay, so it's adopted the actual contours from the object. And if you double click, you'll notice it will add it to your project. Okay, so you give this a couple seconds. You're going to say update terrain. Okay, now your terrain has been updated and you'll notice it's no longer flat It will work with that terrain. Remember at any point you can go and change this to a... That's cool. Now I can simply drop in my road network. So I'm doubling, I'm adding that road network. I'm going to go say add. Okay, there it's added that. Great, so now I've got my road network on top of the aerial photograph. Now I'm going to go and import some more data. So 
So in this, in this go back to my apologies, I was supposed to open this. Okay, site model. So now I'm gonna to go to the proposed building. So I'm gonna bring existing building, proposed building and context model. So let's pull in the context model first. This is quite a large file. Just remember, you're gonna need this information again. So this has all been set up in a very specific way. There's the site model. I'm gonna go and find 35 South. Great. Copy that information. Go back here. Copy that information. Great. Now you see it will move to the site. It'll actually take me to the site. And you can see it overlays it correctly. I'm gonna go save and close. Now I'm gonna double click and add all this information. So you're gonna click on everything and you're gonna go add. Okay, so now you'll see in your project you've got. Okay, so now we've got quite a complex model. We've got contours, so at any point you can go and change your view to see the contours. Okay, so that's very handy. So you can see the contours now. Yes, it has a slight little glitch here and there, but this is really very powerful in the beginning. Good, good tool to start doing some great site analysis. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my library. Now I'm gonna add two more buildings and then I'm gonna pull in a DWG. Okay, so I'm gonna go to import. So again, I'm gonna pull in my proposed building, OBJ. Just remember these need to be OBJs. Okay, same story, it's always meters, good, 34 south, good, control tab on my keyboard, get that, let's open up the correct, yep, same deal, copy and paste, control C, control V, Control C, Control V, okay? So you'll see it'll drop this on the same place again. So this is gonna be your proposed building. So save and close. We're not gonna use that straight away because we're gonna populate the existing one first. So just import. So now we need to go and find the imported file. Existing building. So this is the existing building that we're gonna use now. Okay, good. Copy that, control C. You'll see you'll get the hang of this. It's actually quite easy once you understand how this works and I can teach you guys how to make these um, models as well. Okay. And export them correctly as OBJs. Okay, great, so, voila. Save and close. Now, when we go to the project itself, I'm going to create a new proposal. Okay, so this will be renamed. This will be proposed. And that'll be existing. Okay, now I'm going to start adding these buildings. So go back to your library. I'm going to add the existing building. So double click, I'm gonna select the object, I'm gonna go add. Now what this does, if you go to the, the project proposals, you'll notice on existing and it's gonna be in both locations. What you need to do is you'll need to go and edit the base. Okay, you'll need to select this generic object, you need to right click on it and you need to add this to proposal. Okay, so this is existing, I'm gonna say move to proposal. Now you'll notice it moves out of the site information and moves to the proposal information. So if I go to proposed, you'll notice that building will disappear. If I go to existing, it'll come back. Fantastic. One last thing we need to do is we need to go to library and add the proposed building. Okay. Again, I'm going to go and say add. Now, same story. We're going to go to our library, go to proposed, 
edit your site information click on this and you need to right click and add so we need to make this part of the proposal so we need to go to this okay we need to make a proposal so go to edit base okay move to proposal great so now we're gonna have existing and proposed okay so at any point now you can switch your aerial photographs back on great and we can start doing some site analysis so let's do a, a sun hour or daylight potential so let's do a daylight potential I'm going to select the entire site for this and I'm going to run so I'm going to say entire site and I'm going to run some analysis okay entire site run analysis you'll see it'll give it a couple seconds you can do all kinds of analysis just remember you might have to go and edit the roads okay please look at the Balkan Architects video for more information in this regard okay so this is just a basic guide how to use my information that I've given you okay so this is almost done Let's give it a couple seconds and then we'll preview the analysis okay so let's get right in here and let's see Okay, this is really amazing so I'm gonna go and say open and we can go to our latest view of the project so this is really really great so now I can go and see and at any any view I can go and do like an export so I can go and export take a photo of this I'm gonna do a 4k capture of this I'm gonna save this on my desktop save Great. Thank you guys. I hope this video helps and I'll help you in studio tomorrow to build this content.